a YouTube video. So this is a video about social psychology. Um, so now this is a lesson we are going to understand what actually social psychology means. Um, so I'm going to explain to you in terms of three aspects that you can see on the screen. So if you're not yet subscribed my channel, please do so. And then it's just good to click the button, the bell button, um, and then you will get instant notification when I have any update video on YouTube. Um, and then please feel free to share um, and like my my channels and then all my videos and then share to your friends. All right. So, um, before we start, so um, this is very necessary to understand. Um, these are the common confusion between social psychology and, soci and sociology. Um, so making sure you understand this is uh, something related to psychology, social psychology, actually the division of psychology. And then I won't spend any time talking anything about sociology because this is already, already very like um, away from um, the aspects of psychology. All right, um, social psychology. So I'm going to explain to you in terms of three aspects, as you can see on the screen. So this is social influence, social cognition, and social interaction. Um, I'm quite sure after this video, so you have a clear sense what um, social psychology means to you, um, and then why you have to study. You have to understand at least some basic um, knowledge of social psychology because it's really, really influential to our daily living. All right, so the first, um, social influence. Um, on the screen you see, social influence means um, the ways in which a person's behavior can be affected by the presence of others. Um, let's take a very, very simple example. So if you are now watching this video alone, at home for instance, or you are watching this video together with friends, so it is a pretty difference. So if you are um, watching the video alone, that means you are the only one watching the video and then you don't have anyone um, um, around you and then you can do anything you like. Okay, so you can do like, for example, uh, watching video at the same time you drink coffee or you, uh, you play with your cell phone, right? This is your individual behavior. But if you are watching with a group of friends and then your, your, your friends are a group of friends, they are all um, um, really, they really love psychology, all sorts of psychology, or love me. So that's why they, they, they pay like 100% attention. So at that moment, even you want to drink some like coffee or tea. So just because the presence of that very, very focused friends. So I believe you will, you will, you will follow them and then you will pay for attention to me. This is social influence, influenced by someone else. Um, attending right um another example so uh, perhaps uh, while you are watching the like, um football match okay so at the beginning you are you are kind of person not with quiet like or introvert but while you are attending while you are watching the, the football games and it is really a crowd of people a lot of people and they keep shouting and sometimes they shout for example, they have very, very, like, like some foul language. Okay, so this very, very unavoidably, finally, you become someone. Uh, you start shouting. So this is like social influence and social psychology. We love to understand how or what's the degree, degree of human being behavior actually got influenced or affected by people, right? This is social influence. Um, social cognition. Social cognition means the ways in which people think about other people. This is the way you think others. Um, for example, so if you see a person dressed nicely, for example, uh, in very, very formal, like formally, uh, formal dressing, like uh, in suit, so you tend to believe this person perhaps is kind of, uh, kind of professional. Okay, so a lawyer, accountant, whatever. Okay, so that's why a lot of people, like some, some suspects or criminals, um, they tend to dress well, for example, always in dress or they wear glasses while they're attending court. Okay, so because they believe the way they dress will a lot affect other people's um, perception of themselves or behavior or personality. This is cognition. Okay, so for example, if you see a, a, a like a group of people, like young people, okay, so if they are smoking or drinking alcohol and then are hanging out like in very very late or midnight, and then you tend to believe this is group this group of people, you give them a name like gangster or group of gangs. Okay, so you tend to give them a uh, very negative label. So this is a social condition. So now you understand. Um, the way people interpret or perceive you, so not necessarily about anything of yourself, is always about um, how you present, the way you present to themselves, or where's the location. Like, or for example, you exposed to the to the, to the location with a lot of bad people, and then you tend to perceive you will be perceived as bad guys. Okay. Um, so last, 
about social interaction. Social interaction means the positive and negative aspects of people relating to each other to others. All right. So, um, so if you are parents, so you understand really a lot about social interaction because parents really concern about this. Of course, we want to avoid any negative negative aspects or negative consequence um, while your kids. That relate with some bad people at school, so that's why being parents, uh, we're very concerned to find we, we, we spend a lot of time, um, um, shortening a lot of schools, and finally, we want to find a school for our kids which is with a lot of good people, like good students or good, good teachers. Because, why? Because we believe when people, when human beings get into act with someone, um, they are not very nice, so and then, um, that individual or your kids will have very very low possibility to be good okay so this is an interaction um so let's take an example like um in in the jail okay so i believe you don't have any experience um in jail right? imprisonment but uh some people just because of they commit crime so even there's very very minor one okay so and then they got uh go to jail for for example like a few months or a few years so the very very common while well, they got uh came out from from the jail they become another person to so become like for example really really bad guy because they learn a lot from those like prisoners inside the jail this is about social interaction okay so i heard a lot of stories say when you ask people some smoker why you smoke a lot of people will say um i don't like smoking but i have no choice because i when i was at school when i was at, like a workplace or office they say they had a lot of friends or uh, classmates Okay, so um, they are uh, they are already very very heavy smoker. So that's why from time to time they have no choice to become smoker. All right. So this is negative aspect, but of course we have positive. Okay. So for example, when when someone participate, like some um a sports team. Okay. So at the beginning, perhaps they are very very uh they, they lack of confidence, but just because their friends or uh, or other players they are very they have very very strong confidence, like competing. Then from time to time, so they believe they have very very strong self reliance self concept uh, um and self confidence. Okay. So that's it's a the, the good influence about social interaction. Okay. So this is what we are going to say. Um, we are going to study uh, in the, in the coming lectures or coming social psychology videos and then we will more focus on these three aspects of course i'm going to let you know really a lot about how social psychology or how social cognition um social behavior affects our daily living so this is not it doesn't matter you love or you don't love social psychology but anyway we are all uh we are, we are all the victims of social psychology we got influenced um by the people around us okay so this is the end of this video Hope to see everyone next video. Thank you very much. Bye.